Hello and welcome everyone. This is going to be a PDD trade breakdown. This is going to be a short trade breakdown. I'm going to be breaking down the two schools of thought, which one is going to be a newer trader and how they perceive the stock in this trade at hand and how a more advanced trader should read this and the difference between the two mindsets. And while one allows you to be a lot more consistent and successful in the long run with this methodology, of course. So at the open, looking at the daily PDD gapped up above 40, closer to 45. And at the open, we're just looking for controlling prints at the level, at a major level, to set up a game plan. Find our, essentially find a, our dominant market maker and set up a game plan off of what their intentions are. So that's all we're doing. And as we open, you see a lot of uh, gold or yellow prints and purple. So above the ask and below the bid. We cannot use those prints to create up a, a, a game plan. So essentially those are pretty much noise. So like this is noise and so we're already about an hour into the open it's about 10 30 here and we have added zero controlling prints to be able to identify a market maker and, and set up a game plan around their intentions and as you can see we there's just nothing of clear set i mean there's some buying there's some selling it's just mixed and around this 4350 area it's just the same theme of just mixed and no controlling prints so there's been uh, this period of consolidation from nine 30 ish to about 11 30 ish of that consolidation on that 43 50 area was not clear and concise accumulation one way or the other think about think about it this way if this stock was going to go to 4750 when the market makers take advantage of that prolonged consolidation period and acquire as much as they possibly could around that 43 50 at the level and off level surrounding that level so I had that in the thought process in the back of my mind was the fact that the market makers were really lacking in the accumulation for something that gaps up like this, the interest was really lacking in terms of the buying. We ended up, so with that thought process at hand, that really is showing me that this is going to be, it's really going to need a, a clear, crazy change of personality for something like this to run to 47.50. The volume is going to have to pick up and be very consistent up in the upwards to four or 500 per minute. So given the fact that there our foundation of this trade, because that's all it is, we're analyzing the foundation of what our trade is built upon and it's built upon no clarity or no dominant market maker. And it's just a mix. So as we push up to 45 here, we ended up getting these 45 aspirants. They are purple, but they were hit on the ask. And watch the order hit on execute on the matrix. So 45 aspirants above print personality, that's our number one short trade. That's our, the one through four trade that we give all our new traders or anybody in the community to analyze the prints, the controlling dominant maker, market maker prints and analyze what their intention should be from those prints. So we got those prints that, that indicates to us a number one short trade. From that much ask, going to be looking for a pullback of two increments. So a dollar pullback makes sense just from that amount of buying there alone. And we push above and then we get some at 45.50 and then we ended up triggering right down from that 45.50. So the thought process, and there's really nothing else of really standout substance. So the thought process here with a more advanced trader is understanding the foundation of what it's built upon. For this to become an exception is going to be very, fairly low percentage. The fact that they didn't show any exception type of buying because exceptions leave clues. And even on this push to 45, the off level was very weak in terms of any standout buying, some ballsy prints, anything that shows urgency lacked significantly to show if this if this was going to run a 4750, they would accumulate as much as they could within this period right here and, and they would be urgent about it. And we just didn't ever saw that in terms of the accumulation. Push above 45, unsustainable volume, aspirants above print person I need to build. Market makers thought process there is is that they need to build on that position. Push above 4550, trigger down. Take this trade price target 44 so that's kind of the thought process with an, an elite mindset is they understand the foundation of what it's built upon and they understand the possibilities of what it, it needs for it to become an exception trade and then continue to push and if that those variables aren't there to show that this can be an exception especially above a cycle level like 45 45 is, is a cycle level not easy to hold so that's another added variable so with the thought process there an elite trader knows what the substance really should look like to high percentage for this to be an exception in terms of it being a quick pullback from 45 and running to 4750 and the variables just didn't align for that percentage and then the real, real train at hand was a short trade above uh, 45 back to 44 
And that's kind of the, the, the along the lines of the elite mindset is you're looking at, okay, unsustainable volume, 45 psych level, 45 aspirants above print personality. The accumulation didn't show that this is going to be an exception. Those variables are, are very high percentage for the building trade back to 44. And a newer trader or a novice trader is going to look at, is going to completely take everything out of of this trade in terms of the foundation and what it's built upon. They're going to just going to look at, so they're going to lock in on. So the uh, elite trader is going to looking at the, it as a, a story. They're going to reading a few chapters. They're setting these chapters up and they're creating a thesis. A newer trader is just looking at the 45s and that's a couple sentences within a chapter. And they're saying, okay, well, the rules are 45 aspirants above print personality looking for number one short trade. And yes, those are the rules, but there's going to be instances where this can pull back 50 cents and run to 47.50. So there's going to be times if all you do is look at 45 ask and take a short trade down and you set your calculations on just that, there's going to be more often than not times where it's going to become an exception and you're going to get shaken out. Can you make a great living off of just doing that and cutting your losers? You absolutely could. But the whole purpose of, uh, of trading and, and being tape readers is to get to the point where you're elite. And to become elite, you have to understand all the possibilities and what a trade needs to have in order to be an exception. And if it doesn't have what it needs to be an exception, what is the probability of the trade at hand? And you kind of out, you outline exactly what possibilities are there. And in this case, the possibilities of an exception are very low. And then you add the variables in terms of the building trade and you take that. But can go back to the newer trader, novice trader. They're just looking at 45. In this case, it worked. You you take the short trade and you're in it and you're in the money and you're going to your price target at 44. So in this case, it worked, but there's going to be instances where it's not going to work and you're going to get shaken out. So you really need to identify the foundation of what the trade is built on, the urgency prints, the volume, just all these other variables really give you a high percentage indication whether this pullback is going to be a long up. Uh, it's going to be the whole pullback period for the market maker to build or the market maker has what he, he needs into the 45 level. So the pullback is going to be very small and then we're going to proceed to 47. So to truly become elite, you can't solely look at 45 prints and be like, okay, number one short trade needs to pull back to 44 because it's just not, it's not black and white like that. You really need to analyze the rest of the variables to really create a high percentage game plan. And in this case, it was the short. So if you were a novice trader, you were right in this case, but there's going to be a day tomorrow or the following day where this is going to run to 47.50, given the fact that the variables are going to change in terms of accumulation, ballsy prints and urgency prints. And it's just going to look a lot differently. And you're going to be scratching your head and, and, and you're going to think I took the same trade a uh, day ago at from 45 psych level and pull back and it was a perfect clean pullback and you're going to be frustrated and, and upset and emotions are going to be invoked and as obviously as a newer trader that's something that does occur within trading but to really get to that period of elite this is the the differentiating factor that needs to be seen so that's my little short rant and breakdown i hope you all enjoy and we'll see you all next week